Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Saturday, the 12th of March, as we conclude this first week of our Lenten journey. So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 to 48. Jesus said to his disciples, You have learnt how it was said, You must love your neighbour and hate your enemy. But I say this to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. In this way you will be sons of your Father in heaven. For he causes the sun to rise on bad men as well as good, and his reign to fall on honest and dishonest men alike. Or if you love those who love you, what right have you to claim any credit? Even tax collectors do as much, do they not? And if you save your greetings for your brothers, are you doing anything exceptional? Even the pagans do as much, do they not? You must therefore be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel contains the last of the six contrasts that I mentioned earlier the six contrasts that are mentioned in the Sermon on the Mount. Like the first contrast, this last one is also about love. And here, Jesus is teaching us that we must love all people unreservedly. He likens it to the sun or to the rain. When the sun shines, it shines on everybody. When it rains, it rains on everybody. And Jesus is challenging us that when we love, it too must be everybody. Good, bad, honest and dishonest. We must love. And I think this stands sharply in the face of what we would naturally be inclined to do. So again, the teaching here is that the Christian is the one who can and must initiate the breakdown of any opposition or hostility. Further, by starting and finishing these contrasts, of the Sermon on the Mount with love. It seems that all six have love as a common factor. Lastly, the gospel ends with a staggering demand to be perfect just as God is perfect. This demand is made only one other time in the scriptures and it's made of the rich young man. Yet, as our Lenten journey continues, we will see and experience just how perfect our Lord's love is, because that perfect love is shown to us by Jesus on the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining me for our Gospel Reflection. Have a great weekend this weekend. I look forward to seeing you on Monday when we'll start the second week of our journey in Lent. So till then, take care and have a great weekend. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.